Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a makeup tutorial for this look here. It's very simple. This is usually my day-to-day, -day, everyday look. Matte, kind of grungy. Lip is very, very nude-ish. It's not much darker than my lips. I've had some issues with recording gaming, so while I figured that out, I decided to get more content up anyway. I've had a couple friends and family ask me how I do my daily makeup, so there you go. Okay, camera's dying, so I gotta go. Thank you, love you, bye! Hope you enjoy the video! After I have washed and moisturized my face, I start with this Cover Effects Anti-Acne Mattifying Primer. Then I will move my hair back with this spandex pre-wrap headband. Then I just put on a balm on my lips, doesn't matter what kind. Now I put on a NYX HD Finishing Powder in matte green to mattify my face even more and take away any redness. The foundations I've mixed here are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in Fair Beige and the ELF Acne Fighting Foundation in Porcelain. I will take this damp beauty blender and spread the foundation all over my face evenly. And then I'll go in with a second layer where I need it most, which would be the size of my cheeks. The Wet n Wild Come Correct Concealer in the second color will go underneath my eyes to help conceal any shadows or darkness that I have there. And then I'll continue to blend this out with my beauty blender. Then taking my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette, I will take the peach and yellow shades, mix them, and then stamp them under my eye, and then swipe the powder over my face. Then taking any kind of concealer you like, this is the Nude Sticks Concealer. This is the e.l.f. Per Perfect Finish HD Powder that will, I will use to set everything. Then I take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche, and I swipe this on my cheekbones, my temples, and then the sides of my nose and also the tip of my nose. Then I'll take this NYX Ombre Blush in Mauve Me. This is the first time I've used this product, but I really like it. I definitely could have gone a little more heavy-handed with it or blended it up a little bit more, but I also put that on the tip of my nose as well. Then I take this ColourPop Highlighter in Lunch Money, which is super gorgeous, not super in-your-face, it's a nice kind of yellowish warm color and then I will blend it out further with a brush. Moving on to eyebrows, I use two NYX Micro Brow Pencils in Taupe and Ash Brown. I use that taupe near the center of my face on the inner corners of my brow because it's lighter. And then for the edges of my brow, I'll use Ash Brown since it's a little darker and define my corners. Take a spoolie to brush that out, take out any harsh edges. Then I use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette. I start with the center of the brows because that's when I have the most product and then I brush up and then brush down the hairs. Set my face with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and then we'll move on to eyeshadow once this is done. Using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, I will prime my lids, then taking the Tarlet in Bloom Shadow Palette, I take Flower Child to set the primer, then I take a mixture of Smarty Pants and Sweetheart in a fluffy crease brush and brush that in my crease using windshield wiper motions. Then I take Rebel on a fluffy rounded eyeshadow brush that I got in an Ipsy bag and just kind of use this on the outside of my eye. Then I take an even smaller domed eyeshadow brush and sweep that underneath my eye in the same color. Then I go in with Activist, which is this nice dark brown with that same rounded shadow brush and just add that to the outer V and outer corner of my eye. With that same big fluffy brush, I just sweep it over and blend that out with no additional product. Then I take Charmer with this nice other flatter eyeshadow brush and put that underneath my eyebrow and on the center of my lids and then blend that out again. Taking the NYX Single Eyeshadow and Whipped Cream, I take a small flat brush and then just kind of press this and pull this on the inner corner of my eye, making sure to blend it around. This is probably the hardest part for most people is doing liquid liner and doing a cat eye. There's not uh, tips that I can give you for this, not many that I can give you. Just practice makes perfect. I tend to do like the Pinterest kind of hack with that where you draw the triangle on the outside of your eye and then kind of sweep it into the middle or the inner side of your eye. As you can see I'm doing here. I start with the outside and then kind of sweep from the line on the eye out to the actual cat wing. Then just taking a fluffy brush, blend away a new product that may have fallen on my face, curl my lashes, and then apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Then I take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Honey Dude and sweep that on my waterline. Then I take the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Work It Mascara on my lashes on the lower lash line. Wiping away all that chapstick I had on before, I put on the Milani Lipstick in number 61 Matte Naked. It's a nice nude, it's like my lips but better kind of color. 
And there's the finished look. Thanks for joining me, guys.